Hello Rail fans, and welcome to another French Ride Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our PNR INKA train, and we're going to be building these 8300 series class coach cars. So let's get right into the build here. So the first step is to take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, and we'll attach it up to the locomotive. Under it, we're going to put a sideways dark oak fence gate and also a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler. Coming off the back of the coupler, a polished black stone block and then a polished deep slate slab on the upper hitbox of each side. On the outside edges of that, an outward facing upside down smooth quartz stair on each side here. Then we're going to come across the top of it with five smooth quartz blocks. Then, on top of this, on each side of it, we're going to do two smooth quartz and leave the middle open, and then two black concrete on top of that on each side. Coming off the black concrete, we're going to do two more black concrete coming this way, then three black stained glass panes. We're going to use our mid window spacing to measure the length of the car. Then on the end, a black concrete, then skip two, so there's a space of two, and another black concrete. Then four black stained glass panes. Then another single black concrete. Then four black stained glass panes. Then a single black concrete. Then we're going to skip over and leave another gap of two and another single black concrete. Four black stained glass panes again. A black concrete. Four black stained glass panes again. Then a black concrete. Then leave a gap of two again and another single black concrete. Then we'll do three black stained glass panes and then three black concrete. Then we'll do a black concrete on the side of this one, two smooth quartz under it, and five smooth quartz coming across the bottom under that. Then on this side, two smooth quartz and two black concrete. Then under it on the outside, an upside down smooth quartz stair on each outside edge. Next to each stair, a polished deep slate slab and a polished black stone block in the center. Turn around with a dark oak stair for the coupler at this end. Stack it up to the second block. Under it, a dark oak fence gate and a dark oak fence gate on either side of this coupler here. Then coming off this bottom stair, we're going to do another three upside down outward facing smooth quartz stairs. Same thing on this side, three stairs here and we'll do it on the other end as well. So three stairs here, and three stairs here. Then we're gonna do our wheels. So we're gonna skip one block forward from the stairs here, another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then off each wheel, a polished deep slate wall, four polished deep slate slabs down the center, and a polished deep slate wall on this end, on each side. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, and also into the ends of the wheels on this side. We'll repeat the process down at the other end here. So we're going to do the same thing. Skip a block forward from the stairs here, and we'll get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. On each wheel, a polished deep slate wall, then four polished deep slate slabs up the center, and a wall on each side of this end. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, and also into the ends of the wheels down here. Then come on the sides of the truck here, put two horizontal lightning rods on each side, like that. And of course, do the same thing on this truck, two horizontal lightning rods. 
Then on the outside edges of it, we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on the sides of all four wheels. Same thing here, wither skeleton skulls on the sides of all four wheels. Next, we'll come up top on the second layer, and we're going to fill this top middle three end to end with polished blackstone block. Then we're going to come down in here where these stairs are and we're going to turn and put an inward facing stair on each side. Do the same thing at this end, an inward facing stair here and here. Then we're going to do a row of six smooth quartz slabs until it's above the inner wheel of the truck on each side. Then we'll do the same thing here. Six smooth quartz slabs here. And six here. Then we're going to put one upside down smooth quartz stair on the end of these slabs here. Right here. Then we're going to go in and we're going to grab a wither skeleton skull. And put a wither skeleton skull next to the stair. Do the same thing here, so a stair and a wither skeleton skull. Come down to this end, and we're going to do a stair on each side, then an item frame and a block of redstone on it on each side. Just like that. Then we're going to come over here, and we're going to put a line of smooth quartz stairs stopping right here on each side. So we're leaving that middle gap where this gap is open. In that gap, we'll do two polished deep slate stairs. Do the same thing, two polished deep slate in the center, and fill the rest with smooth scort stairs on this side and this side. Then we'll come up on this next layer up and do a full row of smooth quartz blocks down to the other end. And we'll do the same thing on this side, a full row of smooth quartz blocks. Just like that. Now take out birch doors. Two in this gap here. Two in this gap. Two in this gap. Then one on the end of the car here in the middle. Then align with where the doors are over there. We need to get two birch doors here. Align with these ones, two here, and two here. And then one on this end of the car. Then we're gonna come through and fill this open second layer here, everywhere there's a space with smooth quartz down to the other end. We'll do the same thing on this side, fill this next layer in between all the doors down to the other end with smooth quartz block. And right here. Then come through with black concrete above it and copy the pattern of black concrete directly across from the other side. And then we'll come back through and fill all these gaps with black stained glass panes down to the other end for the windows. Just like that. Then we'll come through on each side of these doors, two iron bars. Same thing here and here. Then we'll do the other side. Two iron bars on each side of this door. Same thing here, and here. Then we're gonna do five black concrete across this end here on top, and then come down the side and copy all of our black concrete up another layer, and we can come across the top of where the doors are. 
So copy these up, come across the top of the door. Copy this up. This up, come across the top of the door. Copy this. At the end, come five across. And do the same thing on this side. So copy these up. Come across the door here. And just keep doing that. Across the top of this door. This one. Across the top of this door. And two in the corner here. Then we're going to come back through all of these on this layer. And we're going to extend all our black stained glass panes up in these gaps. So the windows are too high on both sides. Then once we have all our windows filled in so they're too high, we're going to go all the way around the top outside edge of the car with a single layer of smooth quartz. So right down to this end, come across this end, and all the way back up this side with smooth quartz. Right down to here. Now we're gonna come in above each door on each side of it, we're gonna put a warp button. And then one on each side here, and here, and here, and here. Do the same thing on this side, warp buttons on each side of the door on top, same thing here, and here. Then we're gonna take birch trap doors, and above each of the two doors, close a birch trap door so it looks like the doors are taller. And do that on all these door sets because these doors actually come to the top of the black, but the scale of the Minecraft doors isn't big enough. So this will make it look like the doors are extending up. We're also gonna do it above this end door here. Then down here, an iron trap door in front of the door. On each side of it, a polished blackstone brick wall. And we'll take those up and right over the top of this trap door. Do the same thing at this end. So we're going to put a birch trap door above the door and close it. An iron trap door in front of the bottom of the door. Polished black stone brick wall on each side. Come up each side and over the top of this trap door. Now we're going to come inside here on this bottom level. And we're going to put a full line of cyan terracotta right down the middle to the other end. Then on each side, we're going to do a full line of gray concrete down to the other end. Bring it all the way down so the floor is filled in. Then we'll come through. On each side of either of these side doors, we're going to put a diorite wall on bottom. Same thing here and here. And then here and here. Then do the other side. Wall here and here. Here and here. And then here and here. Then we're going to put a row of acacia wood stairs facing inward. In between all the doors here. For all the seats. And then right down to the end. Then of course same thing on this side. A row of acacia stairs inward facing. Between all of the doors. Then we're going to take our iron trap door on the lower hitbox of this top edge. We're going to do a full line of iron trap doors down to the other end and do the same thing on the other side. Then once you've done both sides on the very top middle, we're going to do a full line of horizontal end rods up the center to the other end and that'll light up the inside of the car for us here. Bring it right down to here. Then where each diorite wall is on these sides, we're going to put two iron bars above them. Same thing here and here. And then here and here. And then we'll do the other side. Here and here. 
here and here and here and here and that completes our interior so we'll come back outside now we're gonna come up top and on the top middle three we're gonna go end to end up here with smooth quartz blocks Once we have that on this top outside edge, we'll do a full row of outward facing smooth quartz stairs down to the other end. And we'll do the same thing on this side, a full row of outward facing smooth quartz stairs down to the other end on this side. Just like that. Then on top, align with these center doors and do two rows of three smooth quartz slabs up here. Then on each side, two deep slate tile slabs on the center. And then we'll go around those with smooth quartz slabs on each side. Just like that. Then we're going to swing down to the end of the car. And in this very top center, do an item frame and a redstone block. Same thing down here on the top center, an item frame and a redstone block. Now come into a loom with a white banner and orange dye, horizontal on top and in the center. And this is for the striping on the car here. Put one on this end and then fill this whole level with these banners. There's supposed to be three stripes, but that won't leave enough white space under it to look right. So we're only doing two stripes. And just keep bringing it down in between all of the doors. Right down to the end, one on each side of the end here. Then come around and do this side. Skip over the doors, fill this all in. Skip these doors, fill this all in. and then right down to the end here. And one on this side of the end. Now come back into a loom. This time we're gonna use a yellow banner and black dye. Put a black diamond in the center, switch to yellow dye, horizontal on top and bottom. Switch to black dye and put a black border around these. Then switch to a red banner and blue dye. Put red in the bottom right corner and the top right corner. Switch to white dye and put a white border around it. Then we're also going to grab a regular item frame. We're going to come up here under where this window divider is, take a banner out, put an item frame in the yellow banner. Then under this window divider, put an item frame in the other banner. Then we'll repeat it down on the other side here. So under this window divider, take the banner out, put an item frame in the yellow banner. Under this one, put an item frame in the red banner. And this completes the 8300 series coach car here. The only thing left to do now is to use the structure command to copy in or build as many of these cars as you want on your train but you're probably gonna want at least four of them on here. So that completes the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.